Hi, I'm Michael Choi and today's video is dedicated towards what I call the discipline contract, okay? Now, what is a discipline contract? Basically, it's a contract between yourself and someone else to ensure that you do something that you want to do in life. And sometimes we don't have the discipline to do those things by ourselves, so we just need to have a contract to ensure that we actually do them. Now, there's a few things. There's, there's you can have motivation. Okay, motivation's good. If, if you're main, motivated to do something, that's awesome, but I find motivation is real short term. After motivation, you can have um, inspiration. And inspiration uh, is a little bit, it lasts a longer time, okay? But on top of inspiration, what's more powerful than inspiration is discipline. And if you have discipline, someone that has discipline, no matter how they feel, what they're going through, they still do what they have to do. For example, make those 100 calls a week. Okay? And don't have any excuses on why those things didn't happen. So, I'll give you an example of a style of discipline contract. It could be, say you have a problem waking up early in the morning, you're not a morning person. Rather than have your alarm clock next to your bed, you can have your alarm clock at the end of the bed, on the floor and super loud. So what happens is when the alarm clock goes off, you have to get up. And that forces you to get up and once you're up to turn it off, you might as well stay up, okay? Another one is they did a study on um, heroin addicts in, I think it was the UK. And what happened is they will quit, the, these, these people have decided to quit and the, they've been off for a little while, but they still have that urge, right? And so what they did is before they, uh, these heroin addicts signed um, to, to go on to this program to quit, they had to write a letter to their mum, okay, and saying, hi mum, just to let you know I've started heroin again, etc, etc, etc. And that, that, that letter went in an envelope and it went in a shelf. It had the address, had the stamp on it. And uh, once a week, these uh, ex-heroin addicts or heroin addicts had to come in to get tested to see whether or not a heroin was in their system. And if it was in their system, that would that that envelope would go straight out in, in that day's mail. And they found that contract in itself. Uh, I can't remember the percentage, so I don't want to make anything up. But it just improved the odds. It improved the odds. Um, so I have I have I have these contracts for, for, for myself and one of them I'll give you an example is my personal trainer. I don't have a gym membership, I have a personal trainer because I don't have the discipline to go to a gym when I when I need to, when I want to. Uh, I, I can't find the time, I don't make the time to go to the gym. So I have a personal trainer that locked in three times a week and it's set and it's paid for. Um, so I have to go, no excuses. And I told my personal trainer not to let me off the hook. Um, unless I'm sick or something like that, okay? But I don't put appointments in or anything like that. They're locked in appointments. So that's my contract. Um, we've got a discipline contract with one of the guys in the office that wanted it and he's is to, and you can make up whichever way you want, is to make 100 calls a week, 100 contacts a week. So people he has to, actually has to speak to, 100 prospective vendors a week. If he doesn't make those calls, I take $100 off him and that goes into me. Okay, that, that's, I can spend it on anything I want to enjoy uh, for my personal enjoyment. Now, we've been running that for a while and I've never taken $100 off it because I've never needed to. And in the last 12 months, that particular person, uh, for this, and this is a main contributor, that, uh, that particular person has quadrupled their income. Times four. Okay, so it's that discipline contract helped them and that's probably, I, I would say that discipline contract is probably 70 to 80% of the reason why that person is able, that, that person did that because there's some Friday nights that he's had to stay back 8 o'clock to make those calls, 8 o'clock p.m. Uh, to just get those extra 10 call connections in. So um, it really, really helps. And another way you can have that contract is to actually send the money to someone you don't like. So have the money, say 100 bucks comes out or whatever the money, it could be 10 bucks, 20 bucks, $2,000, $10,000, and that money, rather than go to a charity or someone that you like, because sometimes people go, oh, you know what, it's going to a charity, so that's okay, send it to someone you don't like, because that gives you more reason. So that's a discipline contract. It definitely works. I suggest uh, you, you put it in place in certain parts of your life that you, you struggle having the discipline not to do those things that you know that you, or that you, that you, know that you shouldn't do, um, whether it be around food, health, exercise, work ethic, etc., etc. Take care. Cheers.